Hello guys, this is Crispy Tiger here to talk about movies, video games, and anything to me at the moment today. And as of today, Irrational Games has finally passed away, and it's super tragic, it's super sad, and I will always miss them. They are true innovators in gameplay, in every single way I could possibly imagine. Irrational Games are my heroes as a video game creator myself, and it's really sad. However, we're not here to talk about Irrational Games. Actually, what we're here to talk about is Bioshock, and... Who should take up the Bioshock helm? Uh, I've actually done my research, and it looks like it should not be anybody in Take-Two Interactive's pocket. Sorry about that, I'm a little bit nasally, but if I had to pick anybody, anybody at all that should take up Irrational Games, it would have to be external. And the reason why? Well, let's look internally. Uh, Bioshock... Uh, it couldn't go to 2K Marin. I'm sorry, 2K Marin are not very good storytellers. Oxcom the Classified already proved that. They're good at action RPG gameplay. That's what they're known for. But storytelling-wise, I don't think they can keep up the helm of great storytelling done by Irrational Games. The same applies to 2K Check. Those are the only other people who could possibly take up the Irrational Games helm. They're great world designers and are known for great gameplay, but they're very obscure, and I don't, I don't trust them. I don't, I don't have that type of trust with them. The only other possible people who have any experienced members in anything would be Firexes and fucking Visual Concepts, and that would be ridiculous. They would never, fucking ever, give it to Visual Concepts or to anybody else. I think it would probably be 2K Marin. That is the only really logical sense. It would be like giving the Aliens a franchise to fucking Creative Assembly. Oh wait a second. Yeah, bad example. Either way, let's... Who the hell would we give it to? Well, Take-Two Interactive actually also owns Rockstar. I think Rockstar, I would love to see make it, but they would only make a third-person Bioshock game, which I don't think I have too much of a problem. It doesn't need to be in first person for me. However, I know most of the hardcore gaming audience would be much prefer it be a first person shooter instead of actually be a third person uh, Bioshock game. I think that would be might be a little weird for a lot of people. Oh, I'm sorry. Again, nasally. Uh... I, honest to God, it really should go to someone external. If I had to pick anybody, anybody to take up the Bioshock helm, I would actually pick uh, the Chinese Room. I think the Chinese Room are the only like video game developers right now that have that world design um, and storytelling capability taken down that aren't going to obviously make this an exclusive. I think they're the only multi-platform people who really do do that and who I do genuinely trust to do it. If you kept them on a leash and you told them that the gameplay has to be like this, you have to innovate this, and that was their only, only thing that they were kept from doing, I think that they would do incredible things uh, with the Bioshock license. But that's my personal opinion. That's my personal pick. I would love to see what everyone else's personal picks are. Who would they pick to take up the uh, Bioshock helm? Who would they pick to do the Bioshock license? Would it be inside of 2K? Would it be outside of 2K? And if it is outside of 2K, who, is, who would it be? Um, I'd love to hear it. But this is all my personal opinion. I'd love to hear you guys' like, favorite, subscribe, share us on Facebook and Twitter, and tell what you guys think in the comments below. Who should take up the Bioshock helm? I'd love to hear it. I love you guys' opinions. I don't know if you've noticed, but my audio quality might get better because I actually bought a new microphone. And I've also gotten a little new tools, little new tips, and I only hope to give you guys better quality videos in the future. Thank you to the four or five people who did subscribe. I genuinely appreciate your subscriptions, and it's really awesome to see my little audience grow a little bigger every single time. I'm very appreciative of you guys. I just wanted to give you that little shout-out at the end of this. But either way, love you guys' faces. This is Crispy Tiger, and thank you for your commitment and support.